Hi everyone, what I have here is a bit of a classic combination of tires, uh, 29ers, both of them, what you see here is the Hans Dumpf, uh, this is the 235 Evolution Snakeskin Paystar Compound, and what I have here, or this is the Nobby Nick 225, again, Snakeskin um, uh, Paystar Compound, and um, I'm going to install them on my wheels and uh, take a look at the uh, how big they are, uh, tire casing width, uh, thread depth, things of that nature. As for the weight, uh, as you can see, the Nobby Nick is 715 grams versus the 650 stated on the box. And here's the hand stump. This is was supposed to be 850 grams, and as you can see, is uh, 880 grams. You can see the snake skin. Uh, here you can see the pattern on the tire. Didn't mention at the beginning that uh, this is the uh, Nobby Nick um, pre 2015. So this is not the redesigned Nobby Nick. This is the uh, the good old one, uh, well known for its uh, trail abilities. And Hans Dampf hasn't been uh, changed in a while. So again, this would be these two would be the 2014 models of these tires. I'm installing these uh, tires on a WTB frequency I23, which is 23 millimeters. Look at that, 2293. The outside is should be 28. Yes, it is. And if I'm to measure how tall this is. Just to get an idea of the tire's height, nothing else. That is 2062 millimeters. Out of the two tires, the only one that's directional is the Nobby Nick, and you can see it here. Uh, the rotation is indicated on the sidewall. And the other thing that you will find here is the dimension of the tire which is marked right here. Okay, here's the Nobby Nick inflated to 30 PSI. The, this has never seen a trail ever so it's brand new out of the box just inflated uh, with um, with the tube. Uh, it's been inflated for a couple of days now. So let's take some measurements here. I'm just to look at the knobs. 54.5 is what I have here knob to knob so the edge of the tire if I'm to look at the casing uh, this is this is 5508 so it's pretty much 55 if I am to look at the thread depth here in the center So that's 327 millimeters. Thread depth on this side knobs is 527 millimeters, so two millimeters more. If I'm to look at the height of this, and this is to the top of the knob, 73.50. Casing height is measured from the top of the rim to the top of the tire. This is about 49.75. That's just what's called the casing height. Frame clearance for this uh, Kona Process 111 is uh, quite a bit, so yeah, it's about 8-9 millimeters all across onto this uh, Kona Process 111 2014 model. Okay, this is the uh, hand stump, the 235 29er. There is no direction error on it. You can install it whichever way you want. Uh, this is the, again the Paystar compound. Shouldn't really matter. So if I start with the thread width here, here is this 59.26. If I am to look at the casing, is 56.6. Thread depth. Center knobs give me about four millimeters. Side knobs are tall. 
I'm measuring this kind of in the middle of them, at the very edge. Side knobs 632, so overall about a millimeter more than the knobby neck everywhere. Um, Casing height, let me see if I can measure this one here. Casing height, it's a uh, 50.4, which is very similar. If I measure with the rim on top of my knobs, that is 74.49. All right, measuring the height, the diameter of this wheel, that's uh, 29 and 1 8, 741 or 42 millimeters. That's the height of this uh, Hans Dampf uh, 235 29er inflated at uh, 30 psi. So here's a knobby neck, uh, 225. 29 and 1 16th, 739 millimeters. So again, this is the 225 knobby neck inflated 30 psi. Can I say rubber seems pretty uh, soft compared to the Conti's that I've had and some other tires that I've been running uh, these years. And uh, I know people complain about these uh, tearing apart. Uh, I'm going to give them a try first opportunity I have. This uh, Hans Dampf knobby neck combination, I have them for early spring, uh, wet, slightly muddy, and uh, overall not ideal conditions. Hope you found this useful, and if you have any comments, let me know in the section below. Till next time, thanks for watching.